Hey everybody, Suzanne Perry here, founder of Love Shouldn't Hurt that TV. Well, this is the last week of October. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And each day, I've been here giving you a little bit of information to help you better understand some of the dynamics behind domestic violence. Today I have a question. You're at a friend's house and start to witness extreme abuse of your friend by their spouse. What do you do? Do you support the friend later, after the event, or defend your friend trying to defuse the situation? Is getting involved at all while it's occurring a bad choice if there's no physical assault at the time? Thank you. That was an excellent question. Uh, now, some of this stuff you're going to have to gauge. The important part that you said in that question is they're not physically violent. So that lessens the severity of, of risk there. But I'll tell you what not to do. Don't look to your friend and say, you take that from them? Please don't do that. Because your self-esteem is already at an all-time low. So please just don't rub salt in the wound. So the person who is an abuser, I'll tell you right now, they're not going to admit that they've done anything wrong. People who are like that tend to be narcissists. And they are in complete denial that anything they do is wrong. They will defend their behaviors and justify them or just deflect the question being posed. I definitely would say something to your friend, maybe not in the heat of it. Maybe in the heat of it I would be like, uh, wow, you're treating that person like that? Just to acknowledge you're aware that the abuser is mistreating your friend and you care about your friend so yeah if you're comfortable speaking up to the abuser say something and when you get a minute after you know it's calmed down or what it, whatever it is and you have a private moment with your friend let your friend confide in you and let them know you know what they have no right to treat you like that. It's not normal and it's not good. Just let them know. And then if I were you, I'd also do a little bit of research on what resources are available locally so you can offer. Like here we have places called the Family Justice Center. So I would say, you know what? The way they're treating you is not cool and it's not healthy. I care about you and I don't want to see you be being treated like that. Here is the number for the Family Justice Center, or you know, fill in the blank, whatever it is in your area. So console them, be a friend, listen, let them let them talk if they want to talk. Sometimes we just gotta listen and just let them get it out. And then offer whatever form of help that you can. You know, listen, I have an extra room if you wanna just get out and get your head together and get away, you're welcome to stay with me. If the person is violent, your safety is in jeopardy as well as your friends. So that I would escalate much quicker. Maybe even a call to 911 if you think it's necessary. So thank you for writing in. Please continue to send in your questions. You can email them at info at loveshouldn'thurt.tv. I'm Suzanne Perry, and I'll be right back with tip number two because I missed Saturday. <laughs>